Hello everyone, I am Be Better Gamer and welcome to Be Better Gamer Wrestling. This channel is dedicated to the classic series of N64 wrestling games developed by Aki Corporation, which if you are unfamiliar were WCW NWO World Tour, WCW NWO Revenge, WWF WrestleMania 2000, WWF No Mercy, Virtual Pro Wrestling 64, and Virtual Pro Wrestling 2, which is a game I am playing in this video. Thank you for clicking on this video and I hope you stick around. I am bringing you another Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 call, Create a Wrestler, and I'm actually bringing you a tag team. It's going to be the Road Warriors, Hawk and Animal. Now, I know what you're thinking. You've seen me do the Road Warriors, Hawk and Animal in D WrestleMania 2000. And yes, that was actually the last call I did was the Road Warriors in WrestleMania 2000. But I figured they have their face paint in Virtual Pro Wrestling 2. The Road Warriors were big in Japan. Obviously, Kensuke Sasuke, who is in Virtual Pro Wrestling 2, was Power Warrior. That was his alter ego, and he teamed up with Road Warrior Hawk, and then later on, briefly, Road Warrior Animal. So I figured I'd go ahead and make them, uh, because you can pretty much make them almost exactly how you how I did it in WrestleMania 2000. As always, this is just my interpretation of these wrestlers. If you want to make any changes, any fixes, or you know things that you want to do differently, go ahead. You don't have to make it exact. This is just what I'm going based on. And the Road Warriors were actually in another Aki game, Virtual Pro Wrestling 64. So I just I just had to make them. I love the Road Warriors. Had to bring them in, do some Japanese tag team uh, wrestling with one of the greatest non-Japanese tag teams of all time. And that is the Road Warriors. And there are going to be a few changes, but it's pretty much exactly like WrestleMania 2000. Um, the big thing you got to know is that the Road Warrior tights are the Power Warrior tights and you have to unlock them. Here you see the head, face paint is the same, the things that are different is going to be Road Warrior's face and his um, facial hair, his facial hair is different but sort of similar to what I chose in WrestleMania 2000. The face actually is Johnny Ace's face which is in WrestleMania 2000, it's the default call face actually, all the calls have Johnny Ace's face and Johnny Ace is in Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 so you can go ahead and use that face. Um, you know, you can even use it in WrestleMania 2000 if you think this looks face better than what I chose in WrestleMania 2000, which was Bradshaw's. Um, but they're the same boots, same, and once again, the, the tights, see, they're in yellow, they're in yellow text, that's because I had to unlock them. And to unlock them, you have to play Rally Mode with Kensuke Sasuke. Now, Rally Mode is basically pay-per-view mode. So it's just all you got to do. You don't have to do like a full card. You can just do one match. You can just do Kensuke Sasaki against um, anyone. I chose Manabu Nakanishi because they had that G1 Climax match. So I just did the one match. I played as it. You didn't have. You don't have to play it as it. You can do a simulation. Let the computer do it. You can play as Manabu Nakanishi. It doesn't matter. As long as you do one match with Kensuke Sasaki in rally mode and the whole power warrior outfit would unlock the tights the face paint the bandana i'll do a video later on showing how i fully unlocked it right here you can see i'm using the vader 2 tights as his fourth attire uh, they don't have these tights in WrestleMania 2000 and WrestleMania 2000 the fourth attire i use some ministry tights so again this is just something similar to what i've seen them more here's animal uh, animal, pretty much the same thing. The only thing that's different, really, in terms of profile, is going to be his name, his height, and his weight. Uh, but his fighting style, preferences, logic, all that stuff is going to be the same as Hawk. What you can do is you can do Hawk first, do his appearance, do his stats, and everything, do the moves. And then all you got to do is clone it. You just clone Animal from Hawk. Just don't choose, you know, profile. And appearance. So I'm showing you real quick how to do the clone. Just don't pick profile and appearance, remove those, and then just clone, and that's it. Boom, you got all the moves, fighting style, and everything. I already had done it before, I'm just doing it again just to show you. And then you can look at the moves just to make sure everything went through. Um, Dominator is in red font, I'm gonna tell you why in a second. But face, here we go, head, same thing. The only things that are really different, once again, facial hair is slightly different, face is obviously different. But the Mohawk, now that Mohawk is in WrestleMania 2000, but in WrestleMania 2000 they have another Mohawk which I think more suits Animal. You can go with either or in WrestleMania 2000, it doesn't really matter, to me at least. 
Uh, I just like the other one a little bit better. But in here, since you only have the one mohawk, that's what you choose. And it still looks pretty good. It still looks like Animal to me. You zoom in and zoom out. There he is. There's Animal. What a rush. That was that was Hawk who would say that, right? Um, so... <laughs> So there they are, Road Warriors, pretty much exactly like WrestleMania 2000. Again, like all my call videos, if you want the full entire call written out for you, just check the description below. I have it all typed up in a nice little Google Docs that I share. It's actually a Google spreadsheet, but whatever. Semantics. So I'm going to do a tag team match, like with all my calls. I like to do a tag team match or a regular match showing off that, um, what I made in action. And you can see all the moves and everything a little bit. And I'm going to choose... Uh, I'm gonna go with their opponents, Kenji Mudo and Masahiro Chono. Now, if you notice, Kenji Mudo and Masahiro Chono look just like how they're supposed to, but everyone else in New Japan looks a little bit different. And if you notice, if you've been paying attention, it's like, wait a minute, everything is in English. I'm actually using the Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 translation patch, which means I'm playing this off of a Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 ROM. But, I'm not playing it off of my computer, I am actually playing it in my N64 because I am using an N64 EverDrive. If you check the description below, or maybe I'll just put in this fancy little I button that's above the video, or at the top of the video, I should say, uh, you can check out my Let's Play about the Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 translation patch. Uh, I go into a little bit of detail of where to get it, what it does, and how I am using it. I said going forward that I would try to use the Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 translation patch in most of my videos, uh, but this is a pretty much a brand new, you know, game. You know, in my Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 Let's Plays, I did a full Royal Rosa session with Masahiro Chono. I unlocked a bunch of people, locked a bunch of outfits, did a few calls there, but it's like I'm starting from scratch all over again, which I don't mind because I've done that in Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 many times over the years. I love starting all over, doing everything again. Uh, it's just one of my favorite games to do that with. But uh, I decided to make Road Warriors here. I'll probably put them in my Japanese cartridge too. Why not? Why not have them both in my Japanese cartridge and in my ROM? Uh, so yeah, I'm facing Chono and Mudo because if you go on New Japan World, they got a really cool match. It's actually from 1990. When is it? 1990. From 1990 even, the Road Warriors took on Mudo and Chono. That was the last time they were in New Japan. Um for a long stretch they will return later on um here and there for some appearances but they had a pretty good run in the in the in the 80s and the nine and the early 90s in japan mostly all japan too uh all japan they were the they were the nwa international tag team champions in all japan pro wrestling they held the championship for 456 days and they were technically the last defenders if you will of the title they would lose it to jumbo saruta and yoshiaki yatsu who were the pwf tag team champions at the time and they would then merge unify if you will the pwf tag team championship and the nwa international tag team championship forming all japan's official world tag team championship which they nicknamed the double cup when you play Royal Road Secession Mode, Royal Road Secession Mode in Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 is based off of the All Japan calendar because Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 is technically an All Japan licensed game. They're the only licensed characters in the game even though they have people from different uh, organizations from like New Japan, Michinoku Pro, but you have to change how they look. All the All Japan people look how they're supposed to right out the box. And in the Royal Road Secession, it follows their calendar so the titles you fight for are the Triple Crown, Triple Crown, wow, I can't speak, Triple Crown, <laughs> the World Tag Team Championship, and the All Asia Tag Team Titles. So when you see them coming out with the double belts, the, the Road Warriors had one of those belts last before it was unified. So you can unlock the um, double belts when you play Royal Road Succession, and then you can also just have them, I think they're unlocked already, the NWA International Tag Team championship belt by itself i think it's unlocked already by itself you don't have to unlock it um uh, i should have made this a championship match honestly i, sh I should have but i didn't maybe i'll do that down the line maybe i'll do a little tag team international tag team championship uh giant baba and jumbo saruta were tag team champions at one point uh baba and inoki 
were international tag team champions at one point. Dory Funk and Terry Funk Jr., Tenryu and Saruta. All those p people are in this game. So it'll be cool maybe do some matches with them and the Road Warriors. Um, Road Warriors also, or I should say actually, so Hawk Warrior, as he was known in uh, Japan, and Power Warrior, who was Kenzuki Suzaki, which I mentioned that you have to play as him to unlock his tights. They were the Hellraisers in Japan. They also wrestled a little bit in the territories in NWA back in the day. And together, Hawk and Power Warrior held the IWGP Tag Team Champions uh, tamp Championships in 92 and 94. Uh, they have the sixth longest combined reign. There I go, giving a, a <clears throat> Doomsday device. Mudo comes in and breaks it up. So in WrestleMania 2000, when I did my tag team match, uh, I had to change the rules a little bit because it was actually a lot harder than I thought it would be to win with the Doomsday device because in WrestleMania 2000, when you put your opponent on your shoulder to set up for the Doomsday device, they come in right away. Uh, whereas in Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 and in No Mercy, they only come in, it's like kind of a delay. They, they come in after your partner has already done the move. So it buys you a little bit of time where you can actually go for the pin and hopefully if you're positioned properly or if the computer is just not that smart uh, for whatever reason, they can't break it up and you can win the match that way uh, as long as you've you know done enough damage, obviously. So I'm actually going to win here. Spoilers. I'm gonna, or at least I should say I'm going to try to win. Let me not spoil it. I'm going to try to win with the uh, Doomsday device. And like I mentioned earlier, when I was going through the moves very briefly, you might have noticed that the Dominator, which is what I chose as their finisher, their front special finisher, that's what Farouk does in WrestleMania 2000 and No Mercy, uh, was in red text. You have to unlock the moves from WrestleMania 2000 and WCW Revenge for that matter. Um, and by unlock the moves, meaning all like the specialty moves from like guys like Goldberg or Stone Cold Steve Austin, so like the Jackhammer or the Stone Cold Stunner. You have to unlock that in this game. It's very easy to unlock. You basically have to turn on the game 20 times to unlock WCW NW Revenge, and then you gotta turn on the game another 20 times after that to unlock the WrestleMania 2000 moves. Uh, it's about like a, a little over 150, I think, for each move set that you unlock. Here I go again, putting Chono up. The distance that Hulk got on that one. Here we go, double atomic drop. I'm dominating these guys right now. Really strong performance. I always do better in Japan, I feel like, <laughs> when it comes to playing these games. Even though I do think Virtual Pro Wrestling 2, the AI is a bit smarter and a little bit more to fun play and less cheesy and more difficult, I would say. But I just feel like, I don't know, there's just something about this game where I feel like I, I flow more seamlessly between moves and what I want to do than when I play WrestleMania 2000 or Revenge or No Mercy. Uh, it's a difference probably you won't notice as the viewer, but it's definitely a difference I notice when I play. But yeah, this, these are the Road Warriors, man. I'm having a lot of fun. And go on New Japan World if you want to see some of their stuff in New Japan. Uh, they, they only have that one match uh, with Muto and Chono against the Road Warriors. A lot of the other matches are actually with the Hellraisers, with Hawk and Power Warrior, but it's some cool stuff. You see them take on Chono and Hajimoto, uh, Ch Choshu and Hase. Uh, there's even a match with the Steiners from the 1993 Tokyo Dome show. That's pretty cool to see. Um, I'm sure if you go on YouTube or if you go on Daily Motion, you can probably find some of their other Japanese stuff. I think it's very interesting. When I was doing research for the Road Warriors for my WrestleMania 2000 video and in a little bit of research for this video, it was really interesting to go back and watch a lot of the old Road Warrior stuff from the 80s and from their, their work in NWA and the territories and early WCW and Japan because growing up, I only ever really knew them from their work in WWF. And honestly, it wasn't until I was doing work on these videos that I got to see a lot of their stuff outside of WWF. I only seen some of it before growing up, but you know, seeing it now, I don't know, I have a newfound appreciation, I guess, for War Road Warriors, and I re-watched the Road Warrior documentary that was on the WWE Network, and it really did, it rang more true this time re-watching it 
and hearing what they said about the Warriors, about how they came in pretty much on top as a tag team, and they were one of the few tag teams to be a main event draw. And that's something that is true. I mean, you can't argue with that. There's very few tag teams that you can say were main event draws, that people were coming to the shows not because of this one guy or that one guy. They were coming for the Road Warriors, these two guys, and they were a tag team. So uh, it's pretty impressive, and a lot of their matches... You know, it was it was to protect them. So a lot of the matches ended in DQ or count out, you know, against a lot of the major stars. But it was still great to see them in the ring, the energy they had and how physical they were with a lot of their opponents. So there you go. Winning with the Doomsday device. Poor Mudo took him down. Chono, as you can see, he got in, but he couldn't quite break the fall. Unfortunately, the replay doesn't get it. Oh, well, you guys saw it. You can always replay it if you want and go back pretty cool the doomsday device what three times this match that's pretty good it's pretty successful here hawk and animal perfect victory the opponent didn't even come close that's what i love about this translation patch you get to see fun stuff like that and actually see what it means so let me know what you think let me know how you like this call what changes you make or will make or you know what changes you think i should make but let me know we're all having fun um I'm Be Better Gamer. As always, thank you for watching. Check out my other calls, my Let's Plays. And until next time, keep watching all the wrestling. Thank you.